Hi, Geek Frogs. Hi, my name is Anna, and I'm a singer. Hi, my name is Peyton, and I'm a dancer. And today, what are we doing today? Today, we are back with a, another comeback reaction, this time to a group that we have somehow never reacted to on this channel before, and we will be watching twice in their newest comeback. Yes, so Twice just had a comeback today called Alcohol Free. Obviously, we have watched the teasers for this, so we kind of know what to expect. But I feel like we need to explain why we haven't been able to react to them yet before on this channel. Obviously, we are caught up with Twice content. But for some reason, their past releases since we've had this channel, the dates just haven't worked out. So I'm sorry. That being said, let us go. The heart. <laughs> Beach bar. Oh, it's so They had like bubbly sound effects. Oh my god. She looks like a mermaid. Ah, cause they're at the beach. I get it. <laughs> mm. That's the teaser right now. Yeah. That sounds like a very affected, like a lot of effect on its saxophone right now. Well, like a soprano sax. <laughs> Just all the different drink names. <laughs> all of the different ones. I was like, how many can you drop? Oh my gosh. All of them. Mm. Oh. Ah, I get it. And does it turn into the swimming pool? Oh. It's all the flowers in their hair. Yeah. I like how they keep sending stuff in their phones. Oh, I was like, what is that supposed to be? Oh, but now it's nighttime for the ending sort of party scene. Mm. Oh. Said drunk on you every like all day. <laughs> That's what I just said. <laughs> to say I'm saying on behalf of both of us and we just want to like pat ourselves on the back before the teaser had dropped and only the song title was known we were talking about it and we were like oh given past twice songs and just like the image that they have and just the fact it's like a summer song we were saying alcohol free I bet it's like oh I don't need alcohol like I'm drunk on you I'm drunk in love with you and then we were so right so <laughs> pat 
pat ourselves on the back. But anyway, into the dance. So obviously there's a lot of Latin inspiration in the dance, like specifically the Latin ballroom styles. And it's evident right from the beginning. The first thing I want to say is sort of a side note to the beginning. And when they move and then come back into line and then are like moving forward, I saw that in the teaser and I was like, <gasps> conga line it's a big party like it kind of makes sense right like i wasn't mad about it i thought it was fun but yes yeah, so ballroom latin ballroom it's very present especially in their footwork like in the chorus when their arms are up and they're stepping out and then in it's sort of like an out in ta cha cha out in ta cha cha that's the pattern that has inspired what they're doing and also it's very present in a lot of their hip movements because there's a lot of hip twisting and it's like their hips twist one way while their upper body twists the other way, that sort of thing. Like you see and associate with a lot of Latin ballroom styles. And then another really obvious one to me was also in the chorus, but it was used in the verses as well as a transition, the walk that they do. That's very ballroom. Like even their arms that they were doing was very ballroom. So it was like very, very on brand for the concept that they had chosen. But also just like on the topic of the chorus, I felt like it was a very twice chorus because they always have that like move or series of moves that everyone can grab onto and it becomes like iconic. And I'm pretty sure that this one's gonna be the very beginning when they're like the drunk on you like leaning back and forth because it's just very fun and it's easy to follow before they get into some of the other choreography. But something that I found interesting was when they're listing all of the drinks, the dancing there reminded me of baby viewers, close your ears. But you know how when you are ordering a cocktail or something, you can ask for it shaken or stirred. That was what the dancing there reminded me of. And like, there's some more obvious things that they're doing. Like it literally at one point they're doing this, like they're stirring something, but also this sort of thing, like they're shaking. But then just in the movements themselves, like they go from turning around to sort of like hopping. And I couldn't tell because of the way the music video was edited, if it was like specifically to the drink they were saying at the time, or if it was just like the overall vibe, that was what they were going for. But that section is definitely like shaken or stirred. So I thought that was really interesting. But I mean, obviously it's like a fun summer song. They all look beautiful. And like the way the music video is shot has just enhanced that. So it's like, I mean, I don't know what else we expected from it. It's a twice song. So, Anna's third. I guess I'll start with like first impressions that I had based on the teasers. After watching the two teasers and the album spoiler, initially I was like, oh, it's like jazzy musical, and it made me think similar vibes to the opening song from La La Land, Another Day of Sun. But then also like hearing more of the song in full, I'm like, oh, Bossa Nova, Samba. But to explain why I had initially thought of that song from La La Land, it's because like the sort of jazzy feeling is very prominent. Also, it's like higher pitched voices singing on top of of that bright instrumental and it's sort of like that otherworldly feeling like you feel like you're not in reality like the song is called alcohol free and it's talking about like being drunk on you when you're drunk in your head it's like this hazy feeling and just like good vibes all around but it still has that like lighter sweeter element to it because it's like a love song about someone that you like a love song about someone that you like not <laughs> to talk about a few like elements in that so one thing that's prominent right from the start is the walking bass that you hear in the intro love a good walking bass and it comes back later in the song but then like just talking about the verses like in the first verse you hear like a bird chirping effect so it really sounds like you're in like this tropical paradise there's flutes playing this very like whimsical line and it sounds like it's coming from far away like there's a lot of reverb effect in the song to like add that hazy sort of feeling also for that like sprite sort of whimsical feeling again there's so many different chime sounds in this like used as like an actual line or like a little effect here or a little ornament here but also i mentioned in the chorus i was like oh it sounds like there's a very distorted soprano sax line it has just has so many effects on it that i'm not really sure what instrument it is but all the effects on it gives it like this really thin quality and it's lighter which makes sense because of like the floaty feeling if it was like a normal sounding soprano sax or horn it would have felt too full deep grounded for the vibe of the song that's been going on also just like outside of the course in the verses there's a lot of like silence space like there's a lot of open space in the instrumental because it's like a lot of little delicate sort of sounding lines overlapping each other instead of like one consistent like sound full layer and then i really enjoyed 
how they lean more into the samba like latin vibe even more during the second verse because before that it's just been more like hinted at but it's like so obviously prominent in the second verse and i thought it was kind of funny how that section tayan starts it because i just thought that was very fitting for like her image personality overall i really vibe to like the jazzier style i wish more k-pop songs leaned into like jazz samba that sort of thing but it's very fitting for summer so yeah that's all I have to say. Yeah, so it's my turn to TLDR. So TLDR for the song is Twice is back with a new summer release. Less of a bop, but more of like a vibey song when you're just like chilling on the beach with your friends. So let's see how many people this summer go to the beach and have it playing on their portable Bluetooth speakers. <laughs> That being said, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, turn on your notification bell, and if you would like to talk with us more about TWICE, about K-pop, about anything really, then you can find us on our social medias, which are linked in the cards up there, and bye! bye!